Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Sunday, July 31st, 2022. Um, I woke up nauseous, and now I'm having massive chest pain. I was sitting in my window seat, but I had to move back to the bed and take THC because it was getting so bad. It was shooting pains up the side of my neck and it was going straight into my head. So, you know, of course, then the head pain started. So not only did I have the pressure on the chest, but I had the constant pain. Like it just kept going around it, like all over. And shooting from here, at this shot up like this, all the way down, all the way down my arm. But I'm still here. And, uh, I started writing something I was just gonna post. And I thought, no, it's more way more effective when I can use my voice to speak and people can really understand the, the magnitude of this poisoning and what it's done to my life. I mean, I virtually do not have a quality of life. They took that from me. And I used to love life. Anybody that knew me I, fun, fun was my middle name. I'm trying my best to be that fun person. But that freaking damn devil is doing his damage or trying, attempting to do his damage daily, increasing my pain level. So every time that enemy starts attacking my beloved heart. It ignites a fire in me that keeps burning in me for justice. With shooting pains, as I just described, I will fight and continue to fight for our beloved freedoms including bringing the truth to the forefront. I have never in my life been lukewarm with our Lord and Savior. I have been talking about him my entire life. Just people didn't want to listen. They just tolerated it. I saw the way he looked at me when I talked about him. As my memories continue to pop up on Facebook, Time and time again, I'm reminded how much my posts had biblical references. I've always been a cheerleader for peeps in life. Another beautiful gift from him. It saddens me even more to watch humans in present day not cheering on for your fellow neighbor, friend or family member and the like but rather belittling them and trying to find fault in their continued teachings. My dear, to serve God is more than this, my skin that you see. My dear, to serve God is not lukewarm. Never was. I just failed to be obedient. My dear, to serve, to serve God and ignites my Holy Spirit Oh, it ignites a fire in my Holy Spirit that I swear that's what's keeping me afloat. He's keeping me here because every morning I wake up, it gives me that much more fight to find out more truths so that you can stop listening to their garbage and start turning towards the light. My duty to serve God is to share his word with the masses, especially when the blind can't see. My duty to serve God is complete when he calls me home for supper after the lengthy recess 
here on earth. As God is my witness, I will continue to fight this fight. I will spread his gospel and I will expose those evildoers for the wrongdoing by bringing justice on earth for him as a gift for his ongoing forgiveness for me and everyone else here, past and present and future. I celebrate bonus days every morning he wakes me up. I'm doing my best to, to deliver him daily. Deliver to him daily. The ex extended blessings back to him. For letting me have another day to use my voice. Using my voice for him. With his continued graces. And in order to help fellow children of God find the light amidst the darkness. Don't let those demons steal your joy anymore. It's not their soul. It's not their body to take residence up in. There's no vacancies. For those evildoers. And you have to fight to bring your inner child back out because he or she is still there. I promise you. It's just been, they've just been bombarded with so much poison that the only way we can stop it is to unite in love. So before you open that trap of yours and start attacking people like me that's trying to make a difference and trying to un uncover factual evidence to help bring light in this darkness, Let us to our jobs. That's why we are here. That's why we were in the forefront. That's why we are speaking. It's for your freedoms. We don't care if we live or we die. We're doing it for him and for you. How stupid can you be? How hurtful and cruel can some become? When you're attacking those of us that are doing nothing to benefit our own lives. I pray for all of you before I pray for myself. And you filthy animals still attack people like me. That's not you. That's those demons. That's those spirits that have found a vessel that is weak. You are weak if you're allowing those demons to do this to you. You are weak if you're taking their poisoned, mind-altering drugs. You are weak. If you don't use your voice for the greater good, you are but a fool in the eyes of the Lord. You are but a fool. I can't stand watching it every day. I see something else. I can't take it. I can't take watching it. 
And he knows it. Why else would he keep protecting my heart from the poisons that have gone throughout my beloved temple that he so beautifully did it perfectly in a, my ungrateful mother's womb. She never looked at me as a gift from God. She never wanted to take responsibility for it. That's the life we're living in. Nothing has changed since I was a little girl. Instead, it's just gotten worse. It would be really interesting to know how many tax preparers out there were like me. When clients would come in and tell you their stories, they'd start bawling. I would start bawling with them because I couldn't, I couldn't take hearing what life was doing to them countless times. How do you separate a heart and harden it so you have no compassion? It's all about the money. It's all about the power. You tyrant regime are weak. You have to pawn off your evilness as health care. As you're trying to figure out how to hurt us, we're finding out the truth about you, lawbreakers and liars, daily. Thanks for the gift of the internet. What a powerful weapon for good, not, not evil. Not evil, despite what I have seen. We're using it for the greater good. There are positive things that come out of things that were built on evil. It's time each and every one of us uses our voice for good, not evil. If you've got extra, you need to start sharing. We need to make the dollar worth nothing. They lose. Their power and their money means nothing if we weaken the dollar even further than what they've done. It's simple. We put them out of business. We stop buying their things. We go back to the days of Jesus. And they wash their laundry in the water, in the in the the lakes and rivers, streams. They didn't worry about stocked refrigerators. They made enough for that meal and shared. Look at all the waste in the world. It's everywhere. I love moving down here because I never had waste. Whatever I didn't eat, I gave to the fish. And my girls, we've shared. And if it went bad, it went into the garden because there had to be one thing that was going to crop up out of a fruit or vegetable that was going to produce a fruit. 
because amidst all of the darkness, there is a diamond in the rough, and it exists in each and every one of you. When did you forget that? When did you look in the mirror and forget who you were? Bring that inner child out, and you start protecting that inner child, and let that inner child show you the way to the dark, from the darkness to the light. Be obedient to him. He'll be there every step of the way. I promise he has been with my life. This is my love for every human on the globe. After all, I learned it from them. fighting the wrong battle. You need to fight the ones that harmed us. And it's not you and me. It's that tyrant regime. You need to fight the right fight. If you're going to open up your yap, then use it for good. And stop hurting the rest of us. Won't you? Shame on you for hurting a person like me and anyone else that has got a heart of gold that's risking their life for our bloody freedoms. How much is your bloody money worth? Is it risk you losing another loved one? How about one of your children? Or your grandchildren. Their poison targeted the elderly and the children. They knew what they were doing. I've always been intrigued with science. I love chemistry. I can't imagine being in a lab and watching that go on and not saying a word. Thank the Lord, there are people that have done their homework just like me. And they're just adding more to the ongoing script that's been written. Oops, in this freaking book, this looks bigger than me. <laughs> was reading out of my other one. Sorry, Andy, but thank you. <laughs> one of my tribe sisters just showed up yesterday to surprise the daylights out of me. And I was like, kept looking, I was like, well, that's Andy, right? <laughs> I'm not seeing things. <laughs> what a great surprise. And I didn't know she was coming. That's unconditional love. And we don't have to be blood. Not of the kind that we're thinking, but we all have the same blood of Jesus in us, every single one of us. We're each seeds of God's love. Ta-da! So I hope you take this to heart because every video, everything I've ever done has all been from my heart.
despite what others have attempted to do to it, including leave me for dead and hopeless. God made me strong enough to be victorious through whatever man's filthy, corrupt, secret tyrant regime, because it's no longer, nothing's a secret anymore with him. They're just plotting their next move. That's why we have to be ahead of them. We are not stupid. The writing's on the wall. It's been there. We were just too far into the forest to see the trees. We were all deceived. Every last one of us, except for those that were in the know. So as I'm fighting for my life, you bet your sweet Bibby that I don't care if I am laying down with my feet elevated in the air or I have to be in the swimming pool and somebody videotape me. I will continue to use my voice. Thank the Lord. When it gets bad, I know where I'm headed. I don't care how I got to get there, but I got to get in the water. I already know this. Unless he peacefully takes me in my sleep. But somehow I just don't feel that that is in my cards. <laughs> somehow I feel like I got to go with the babe. Nothing with Natalie is ever small. Something my mother said to me. On Mother's Day when I thought we were, I was united with family. I said, you don't know anything about me. I'm go big or go home. I learned it from him. I learned it from him. And that's what you need to do. Surrender. Repent. Be cleansed, be obedient, let's unite this country in love, let's turn the tables, be right back in. Just saying, after all bunches of bunches, right.